What's going on guys, K-Pine here and welcome back. And in this video, I'll be featuring a very strong team in the Little Cup that yes, does not include Bronzor or even Why Not. Ducklet on the lead, Vulpix on the swap, and Dino as a closer. Ducklet is a fantastic lead as it does have access to Brave Bird where you can then swap out to clear the debuff as well as apply massive shield pressure right off the bat. Vulpix is a strong safe swap where by running it with Quick Attack, you get to spam out those charge moves and make a play for Switch. And well, Dino's in the back to clean up with his fast move pressure, as well as to serve as the main wall to Bronzor. I did go 16-9 with this team and was able to pick up some very strong sets on the first day of this cup. And with that, let's get right into the battles. All right, getting to the first battle, we lead Ducklet into Bronzor. Terrible lead for us, but we do have two better answers in the back, so we're gonna swap out right away. And we bait out this seal. Our ABB line is working perfectly as intended, as now our Dino does not have to see this seal in the end game. And Vulpix being so spammy with Quick Attack, where if we survive this Aqua Tail, which we just barely do, we're gonna be able to get off a second body slam against the seal. Vulpix putting in a ton of work. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get Switch, but this does set up Ducklet for a nice farm down to get a bunch of energy for the end game. So we're gonna wait out our switch clock, farm down this seal. They are gonna reach one last move, but that is no problem. I'm gonna save my shields for the dino since the ducklet is paired up against the bronzor anyways. I do quick attack down. I'm gonna wait till they bring in the bronzor. Now I swap into my dino and they're staying in, which is fantastic news. They are gonna throw off a move first. I will shield it just in case they are running heavy slam. It's just a side shock. So a nice bait by them. And I will throw off this crunch here. This crunch is going to do some hefty, super effective damage to the very bulky Bronzor. And my opponent's still staying in. So they must be very weak to the Dino in the back as well. So it was a very, very good thing we were able to bait out that seal earlier in the match. Now the Bronzor does barely hang on. They do get off a last move. The last move which I'm going to let go because I want to save the show for my ducklet and I don't know what they have in the back yet. But now that we see it's a shadow scun tank, I'll be perfectly fine because I can land that bubble beam. I could have gone for another bubble beam right here, but I wanted to land the brave bird to finish off this match with a message as it appears that our opponent force closed their app as we are able to land the brave bird on the shadow stunky. Bronzor comes back in, one more wing attack takes it out, and that is a good game. GG's to my opponent. Next battle, we lead Ducklet into Seal. Perfect for us, this is exactly where we wanna see it. Now we're gonna stay in, and it becomes a baiting game. It's a very risky baiting game. And I was actually gonna load up there and wait until my opponent threw first. Even if they threw the Icy Wind, it would still be better if I throw off my charge move second, just in case I do go for their Brave Bird, because then the Icy Wind would do you know, more damage. But in this case, my opponent swaps out, tries to make a catch on another Bronzor, and that is perfect, because now I get the Bronzor aligned to my Dino, which is exactly what I want. I go for their Crunch right away. I do end up getting their first shield. Now I'm going to go for crunch number two. My opponent does let this one go. Unfortunately, no uh, defense debuffs on either of them. But I can survive that payback. I'm hoping I just make it to a move in time, which I would have. But my opponent swaps back in and makes a very, very nice snipe with their seal. But now I get to load up on tons of energy. I'm almost at 100 energy. And again, I was waiting, wanting my opponent to throw first. So now, even though this Brave Bird is debuffed, Ducklet hits so hard that it requires a shield for my opponent. But now my opponent's down two shields. They don't have any more left. This Brave Bird has to land. And that is a debuffed Brave Bird against a somewhat bulky seal. Just still did so much damage. Debuffed as well, might I add you. Ducklet is just absolutely incredible. Such a good pick here. Now my opponent has a why not in the back. They try to catch. Fortunately for us, we're able to hold on to our energy. Load up to almost 100 energy. Throw off that weather ball to take out the Bronzor. And now we're just going to start spamming weather balls against this why not. In neutral situations with Vulpix, you do want to go for weather ball over body slam. Because weather ball does get that same type attack bonus and is more energy efficient 
than Body Slam is. But here, I'm gonna swap out because I can shield once. I over farm a little bit. I'm not exactly sure how much a Brave Bird does to the extremely bulky Why Not, but it does a lot because that just took out the Why Not from half health. Honestly, if that match wasn't a showcase of the absolute power Ducklet can put on its opponent, I don't know what is. Next match, tough lead for us. This is quite the core breaker in an Alolan Sand Slash. So we are gonna stay in. They are gonna spam off that first Night Slash. I'm gonna build up past their Brave Bird one before they get to their next Night Slash. And I'm actually gonna bait with a Bubble Beam here. I wanna see if my, I can get their last shield or their first shield, I should say. But no, my opponent calls it very nice bait call by them. So I'm gonna show in return because I don't wanna go down with all this energy. And seeing how much that first bubble beam did, the second bubble beam should be just about enough to take out their Alolan Sand Slash, so it does end up getting their first shield because they want to maintain switch. So that's perfectly fine, because here, now I'm just going to come in with my Volpix and quick attack down if they let me, but they safe swap out into a Shelmet. And Shelmet dealing resisted damage with its infestation, but very, very quick to body slams. I think the count of infestation to body slam is three, 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 two. So it's very, very quickly. But that first weather ball, I was hoping that would be just enough to take it out, but not quite. So I will commit the shield here and farm all the way down and leave with a ton of energy. Now my opponent still does have a shield and I haven't quite seen what their last mod is, so it could get a little tricky, but it looked like they came in with an Igly buff. And here, since I do get their first shield, my opponent wanting to catch, swaps out trying to catch. We're Again, we're patient, making sure that they don't catch. We're over farm a little bit, throw off that weather ball in here. As you'll see, I don't throw off that weather ball and then swap into my dino because I know that um, Volpix wins CMP over Igly buff. So I swap, store that move, swap into my dino right away so that just in case the Igly, bu Igly buff, because I'm not too sure on its moveset, just in case the Igly buff has a move that could take out my dino with one shot, I wanted to get to that body slam as fast as possible to potentially outpace that Igly buff. Where if I throw a move on my Vulpix first, it gives the Igly buff a one more free fast move, and that could be the difference in the game. So I get off that body slam a chip, and then I can guarantee that that weather ball takes it out. And that's a GG's. Next matchup, Ducklet into Why Not. Fantastic lead for us. And my opponent is going to safe swap into their seal. And since, well, they safe swap, I'm going for the bait right here. Very risky bait, but it does end up paying off for us as we are able to get their first shield. And now we can let that Icy Wind go and land off this next Brave Bird. We saw how much this Brave Bird did to a seal earlier, debuffed, and you'll see again, and it does a ton of damage. So I'm still gonna let this go. This is a super effective Aqua Tail, but again, we did debuff that seal with our Bubble Beam. So I'm able to farm down and save both of my shields for use later in the game. Back in comes the Why Not, and we're just gonna spam off these Weather Balls. This Why Not is gonna go for a full counter down against us. Which could be a little tricky. They do have a ton of energy, but we are able to get to one last Weather Ball. Full pick's very, very spammy with Quick Attack right there. And now here I'm debating if I bring in my Dino to soak this, uh, charge move and mirror coat since it is resisted but then the why not would be doing tons of uh fast move pressure to my dino with counter so it was a little bit of a tricky call but they end up having a bronzor in the back so it's a very good thing i saved that shield for my dino and now we are in somewhat positive position i just have to play this end game correctly but i don't here you'll see I throw this body slam because they got the defense drop. I thought it would be enough, but again, bronze are so tanky. What I should have done is I should have just held on to that body slam, farmed down the bronze ore, and I would have left with, would have got potentially gotten to the back to back body slams to then take out this why not where the first body slam would get the shield and the second one would take it out. 
but because I thought that body slam would be enough and the bronzer still hung on to then be able to get my last shield, didn't quite work out as expected, but very well played to my opponent, GG's. Next battle, we have the ducklet mirror and oh boy, this is just the same as the frost last mirror. Baiting game, baiting game and mind games galore. But in this one, I'm feeling risky. I'm gonna call the bubble beam since I do lose CMP. Ends up being a great call and I'm gonna bait right back. Hopefully I get the shield, but my opponent makes a fantastic call as well. So you know what, we baited once, it was successful. I'm going straight for the brave bird, expecting my opponent to do the same, which they do. So we get, so we're able to shield correctly, I should say. And my opponent actually lets that go. So now we're able to safe swap out, save our ducklet for later, but they do have a seal. So me safe swapping in the Vulpix is luring the seal to stay in but then they actually end up swapping out. So this could get a little tricky, but we did save some health on our ducklet. So potentially we could get to a brave bird against that seal in the end game, which would be very, very helpful. But they swap into their own Vulpix. We are able to get off two body slams. And now here I'm going to bring in my ducklet to try and farm down, just not able to in time. So I am actually going to have to give up my last shield. And now here I'm going to build up to the Brave Bird and bait with the Bubble Beam. Hopefully I get their shield, but if I don't, that is okay too. Because I'm able to lower their attack and just farm down. This seal isn't going to be able to reach two Icy Winds against me. They'll reach an Icy Wind. And they'll reach an Aqua Tail. But an Aqua Tail is just not going to be enough to take it out. And even debuffed Dragon Breaths were still doing that much damage to the seal. That Dragon Breath fast move pressure is just so, so strong. And that is a good game. Next battle, we lead Ducklet into Shelmet. This is a fantastic lead for us, as basically our entire team beats uh, Shelmet. My opponent's going to safe swap into a Tackle Bronzor, which does have a better matchup against Dino, but we could still pressure the shields with the Crunch, and if we get are the defense drop, which we unfortunately don't do here. It's an even better matchup for us. My opponent does go for the side shock. We correctly call it as it, the tackle bronze or either is running mainly run side shock and um, payback. Where payback's the much harder hitting move. So we do get shield advantage out of this, which is potentially going to set up our ducklet for a, a sweep in the end game. As we are able to get off this weather ball here against the bronzer, I will have to shield once. And now I'm going to try to commit to a hefty quick attack down. This is a tall task considering how bulky bronzer is, but it's not looking like it as I do have to end up throwing a weather ball on the CMP tie to take out this bronzer before they get to another side shot. But back in comes the Shelmet, and the Shelmet's definitely not gonna appreciate the Weather Ball here. I'm expecting my opponent just to throw away their Shelmet at this point, save their shield for whatever they have in the back. And I'm making sure to throw on good timing right here to maximize my energy gain. And the Shelmet does get to a Body Slam, so I will let this go and put it all onto my Ducklet. It ends up being a seal in the back, which is perfectly fine because after that body slam, this seal is most definitely in Brave Bird range. And at this moment, my only lose condition is going for a bubble beam and them calling the bubble beam. So I am gonna go straight Brave Bird here. I let them throw the Icy Wind first. I'm gonna let it go since I'm not debuffed by Brave Bird yet. And my opponent plays to their win con by calling the bubble beam. But fortunately for us, we played to ours as well. And that is a good game, GG's. Next battle, we lead Ducklet into Bronzor. Another terrible lead for us. So again, we're gonna safe swap into our Vulpix. See what my opponent wants to do. They're gonna throw a couple tackles and then bring in a Shadow Stunky. And Shadow Stunky can apply tons of fast move pressure with bite, but is very, very slow to its charge move. So if my opponent wants to keep switch, they're gonna have to go down two shields. But they don't, so we're able to get switch and shield advantage, and now we are in a fat, fantastic position as we can put our dino on the bronzor and our ducklet against whatever they have in the back. 
So I will shield up here. I do have two shields. I've got to use them somewhere. I was respecting the payback. Honestly, not even sure if that was enough for a payback, but either way, we're still in a great position. As I'm able to get this crunch off, that does get their final shield, and they have a cottony in the back. So now we can just load up, load up on energy, throw this brave bird right before they would reach a move to take out the cottony. And now I could go for another brave bird to give them less farm. But actually, instead, I'm going to go for the double bubble bee. Because even though this is going to give them more farm, the bronzer can barely do any charge move damage against the dino anyways. So really, either option is perfectly fine here. But the double bubble beam makes it so they basically have no move pressure against me. Fast move or charge move regardless. But now I will shield this one up. Just because I can. Because I have one shield left. Might as well use it. We would have been able to very, very easily survive that payback. But regardless, we get to this last final crunch to take out LeBronzor. And that is a good game. Next battle, we lead Ducklet into Drifloon. This is a very interesting lead as the Drifloon does have access to Shadow Ball and Icy Wind, but they're actually going to swap out into their seal right away. And so like last time on the seal save swap, we're going for the Bubble Beam bait again. And it ends up getting the shield again. So that's a very, very nice bait. My opponent most likely going to be thrown off an Icy Wind, which they do. So now again, debuff Brave Bird. Still does so much damage brings the seal into the red and we're going to play this just like last time where we'll now safe swap into our Vulpix, tank this Aqua Tail and farm all the way down. We leave with over a Weather Ball stored, see what my opponent wants to come in with and it's a Chinchu. So we get to start spamming off these body slams instead. They are going to go for the spark down but we also have a very, very nice wall in the Chinchu of the Chinchu in our dino in the back where they can throw off as many thunderbolts or bubble beams as they like and dino would just be able to shrug it off and dragon breath on down this Chinchu. As they will throw a thunderbolt here, they are not going to reach another thunderbolt in time. So this is only a bubble beam. Still don't need to shield it yet. So I now swap into the ducklet. I will shield this up as an icy wind will take out the ducklet. And plus, we want to be able to get off this Brave Bird, right? Brave Bird coming through. This will easily one shot the Drifloon. Drifloon goes down. Chinchu on one HP. Able to take out the ducklet. But Dragon Breath finishes the job for us. And that's a good game. Next battle, ducklet into the ducklet mirror again. Another baiting game. And well, since I lost CMP to a regular ducklet, I'm definitely gonna lose CMP to a shadow ducklet. So I go for the extra here, call the bubble beam again. It is the bubble beam. And well, we go on straight for the brave bird. My opponent recalled the bubble beam last time, hoping they don't call it this time, but my opponent reads me, gives up their first shield. And here they're gonna have to brave bird again. Even though I'm debuffed, a bubble beam is not gonna be enough which they do so now i either get both their shields or a shield and switch which is absolutely fantastic for us they bring in another lonely sandshrew we get to align our vulpix to this swap into the stunky dino's there to wall it and my opponent concedes the match ggs next battle we lead ducklet into bronzor again bad lead we're going to swap right into this vulpix my opponent wants to do they're going to throw a couple confusions first and we are actually going to be able to get off a weather ball in time so my opponent staying in and they give up their first shield before swapping into a ducklet of their own so now i'm going to start spamming off these body slams we'll spam off as much as my opponent allows me to if they go for a bubble beam right here i will get to a second which they do So I try and play to the CMP tie to their next bubble beam, but my opponent at this point wisely going for the farm down. 
and we fall just short of another body slam. And that is heartbreaking because now we are gonna have to give up a shield of our own to respect this Brave Bird. So we are able to successfully farm down the ducklet, but we are able to flip switch. So they bring in their Bronzor, we swap into our Dino, and they have a why not to counter our Dino of our own. And realistically, since I wasn't able to get to that last body slam and wasn't able to take switch, we have no shot in this match. So I go for the farm down, trying to get to the crunch, but really no win condition here. And I, so I can see GG's to my opponent. Next battle, we lead Ducklet into Dino. Fairly neutral lead as we are, you know, able to one shot with the Brave Bird, but these Dragon Breaths are absolutely tearing us apart. So we do bait with the Bubble Beam. We get the successful bait. The opponents, like you're saying, they have to respect that Brave Bird damage. Just does so much. And because I'm able to get to another Brave Bird, I will shield up, but my opponent makes a fantastic catch onto the Bronzor. But bad news for the Bronzor, we have this Dino here waiting to meet it. We can safely no shield this. But this one's actually running Heavy Slam instead of the typical Psy Shock payback moveset. So that they're able to hit back harder against our Dino. And now this can get a little interesting. But they actually decide to let it go. So, decide to let it go to get more farm on their Dino instead. So now we're actually back into a pretty decent spot as we are able to get their final shield here. I'm waiting out my switch clock. I will bring in my Vulpix, give up my final shield, and then just farm down this Dino. And my opponent has a Tepig in the back, so we are doing in a pretty good position here. I will load up on energy. We are able to survive a body slam, and I do try and go for a catch right here, and that could have been a potential lose condition just in case my opponent is able to get to two body slams in time. But luckily for us, they were still one ember away. So we farm down. We have the body slam stored for the dino and we're able to take it out for another good game. GG's to my opponent. And that is the end of the video. This little cup team, as I was saying, no bronze or no why not and it's still able to compete with the best of them. It's a very, very strong one. And as you saw, we came across Bronzors all the time throughout our battles, and we were able to deal with them no problem whatsoever. So if you're looking for a, more of a budget Little Cup team that doesn't require the XLs and can still put in a ton of work, I highly recommend you try this one out and give it a shot. It did well for me, hopefully it will for you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one.